Hello everyone, it's Lynn the Leather Bag Lady. It's uh, another day and three more bags for me to share with you. Um, hopefully you're having a good day and uh, let's get cracking. Um, first bag I have for you is another uh, one of the I've shared a bag like this with you already recently and it was uh, the combination was the black and brown. This is white and brown obviously as you can see. It's a really nice bag. Um, the brand Alexander Neo, can't find anything about it. Um, looked for Alexander Neo and all that was coming up was Louis Vuitton uh, stuff. So not sure what that's all about but uh it's a nice bag it's i've undone one of the sides for you the straps are super super long so this this side is still uh connected this side i've undone so this side you can open this guy up completely um, you do lose a little bit of the uh, look, I guess, but inside it is, um, it's canvas and then you have the Alexander badge and then you've got a zipper right here. So I'm going to put this back together and it's just one of these little, one of these little tags and there we go. So it's back together. And it's got its uh, magnetic clip. And these straps are super, super, super long. So that is literally on my hip. So if you like a shoulder bag, I like a shoulder bag. Um, it's just great. There are, there's a couple of little blemishes in the leather. Nice uh, flat surface. It'll stand up really nicely. It's a really classy bag, and it does have Alexander stamped. And usually, when you see that, um, you know that that gives you some idea of the uh, quality of the bag. So that's bag number one. Um, probably a little late in the season to be showing you a white bag, but I mean, some of you live in uh, in areas where it's uh, warm all year round. So that, the, the white restriction, I don't know if we really adhere to that too much anymore, but that may be an issue or may not be an issue for you. Um, next bag is just a very small, little simple, vibrant, vibrant blue leather bag. I really like this. It's super soft. It's, um, Got a nice little gusset on the bottom, so it will carry. It will carry some stuff. It it is uh, a drawstring if if you want to use that. It's all raw leather inside, which I love. I love bags that are raw leather. And then for whatever reason, the top has this very sixties uh, velvet, and that's that's the era of this bag. Little bit of uh, a chain. So it just gives it a, it's really unique. I find this bag really unique, super long strap. So you're going to be able to get a uh, cross body for sure. No outside pockets, unfortunately, and no interior pockets either. Um, just not how this bag is set up. So that's uh, bag number two, no branding, no nothing, but it's really nice and soft. I, I, I like this. I like the color. I, re I really do like the color. Um, and lastly, this is a really nice bag. This is the um, Leather by Man, Carnage Man. Um, I guess there's been a few uh, divisions of this maker. A Canadian brand out of Kitchener, Ontario and um, went out of business in early 2000s, I believe. H has been around for a very long time. I'm going to suggest this is a 60s bag. Um, it does have a little side pocket, but I mean, it literally, it would maybe hold keys, and I'm sure that's probably what it was for. No phone compartments. Obviously, we weren't dealing with phones back then. 
So you've got, it's a black interior, so it may be difficult to see. So there's a pouch here. There's a divider with a zipper in it right here. And then you've got another pocket with the uh, leather by man and then a zipper here. And then there's a whole zipper that closes up the bag. So it's, oh, there's two. I didn't realize there's two of those little side uh, pockets. It's, it's a very nice bag. There is, the, the strap is quite short. There is some um, room for movement if you want to make it shorter. There's the uh, man insignia. It will go crossbody, but it's super short. Um, but, I mean, you could get away with it if you wanted a short crossbody. Makes it really easy to access these side pockets being as short as it is. Or it's just a really great uh, shoulder bag. I don't know this bag. I really, really like it. There is, uh, there is a little, there is a little blemish in the leather. If you can see it right there, and what is that? I'm not sure if that's. Yeah, the there's a few little, few little blemishes in the leather. It, uh, it doesn't have a gusset or anything on the bottom, but it's, it's large enough that it will expand and not um, deform the bag. You know, sometimes these bags look very unattractive when they've got, uh, you know, they're full of stuff. Uh, nice metal hardware. Again, that's the vintage bags. Um, yeah, just a very simple bag, but I, I really like it. I, I, I don't know why necessarily, but I do. I like it. So that's the four bag or three bags for today. And we will hang out again soon. I hope everybody's doing well. If you do uh, enjoy the videos and are enjoying the videos, please consider subscribing um, or leaving a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Um, I've gotten a little too comfortable with the very uh, kind of... Uh, raw uh, state of doing these videos so I need to kind of continue learning and learn those links and all that kind of thing um, but for now uh, this is working and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the videos and you're able to check um, the bag potentially from my Etsy shop if you not all I haven't been able to list everything yet but I'm slowly working through I'm probably I'm more than halfway through the bags that I have. So um, hopefully if, if there's something you see on Etsy, you will be able to see it in real time in one of my videos. Anyway, take care and we'll be back with you soon. Bye-bye now.